chickies. Hello. How are my babies doing? I'm about to let them out so they can free roam, which is definitely their favorite time. Come on, girlies. Let's go. Freedom. <laughs> so they will just hang out here and graze and enjoy all of this land. Now it is time for me to go ahead and do some eh, very mild chores to give them some fresh water because their food is all stocked up. Hi, Bertha. Do you need something? She's always lurking behind me. <laughs> We got fresh water now. Now let's see for the reason why we have chickens. If we got any eggs. Is that Bertha? That is Bertha. She's in there. Oh, we got one egg right there. And that is it. <laughs> they typically like to lay in this one nesting box. So typically all the eggs are gonna be in here. But yep, none in there. Just a whole lot of poop that needs to be cleaned. And I actually ended up cleaning out their coop yesterday. So it's looking relatively clean, which is nice to see. I do actually want to get a scooper so I can actually scoop out the poop a little bit easier. And we will also be changing them from bedding, like this kind of bedding, to like a coarse sand because it's going to be a lot easier to clean. And I actually have a chicken coop makeover video coming out very soon, probably in sometime in August, because I'm still ordering a lot of supplies, but yes. This thing is going to get a full renovation, so I'm super excited. And I'll show you guys the chickens. They are actually new. Uh, we do have two original ones. Fortunately, a fox or a raccoon, some predator got into their coop and we ended up losing a bunch of our chickens besides two. So all of the other chickens are completely new and they're settling in super nicely, which I'm really happy to see. They are really like guinea pigs, surprisingly, because you do have to do somewhat of a bonding session between them to see if they get along. So I'm really happy to see that everyone was able to mingle. Honestly, with the predator attack happening not that long ago, I feel like the chickens have honestly just been a lot closer with each other and they stay you know, in close range to one another to protect each other. So really happy to see that. But yeah, hopefully that does not happen again. We did secure the chicken coop a little bit more with this bungee cord right there. I do wish I could just like walk up to them and pick them up, but they are pretty timid. Sometimes I can kind of corner them, but I don't really like to stress them out. I love these ones. She actually looks, this is Henrietta. Henrietta looks so different from the rest of them. She is way taller. Her back feathers actually look very different from the rest who are currently <laughs> zooming. I told you guys, they're like pigs. They're doing their zoomies right now. She looks like, honestly, like a rooster. I would not be surprised if she was. So they're going to just enjoy their day out. We have a nice overcast, not too hot out day, which is really nice because the weather has been awful here in Jersey. Just got so much inventory, you guys, for new products that are coming to the pig room. I am so freaking excited. I gotta go bring these down to the studio. Also shelves are right there from BJ's. I have so much stock of just so many products now that I need so many shelves. I probably have close to like 30, 40 shelves down there, which is crazy. I am now back home. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I have my AC running literally right there. It is so hot out today, so I have to have that running or else I'm going to be sweating to death and the piggies are not going to like that as well. It gets very hot here in the pig room if that's not on. So yes, don't mind that if you guys can hear it. Um, but this is the segment that I'm sure you guys have been wondering, like what is going on? That title of the video, what's happening? Uh, but yes, it is true. And we're going to be talking about that right now. Now I want to, first mention that I do not want you guys to jump to conclusions. I do want you guys to hear me out, listen to me, because this has been weighing heavy on my mind for the last couple weeks. And I've really been trying to navigate if this was something that I should do, um, if it's the right decision or if it's the wrong decision. Um, if this makes sense, when should I tell you guys? There has been so many scenarios and just question marks in my head of trying to figure this out. Um, and I finally feel like I have. I did just wanna talk about it more in detail. Now, those of you who are on Instagram do know that I will be rehoming 
some of my pigs. Um, but for those of you who do not follow me, this is completely news to you, uh, but I did want to talk to you guys and kind of explain the situation and why I will be doing that. I think the first thing that I really want to mention to you guys is that when I had initially created the pig room and started making you know, YouTube content, all that kind of stuff. That was literally the sole purpose of the pig room. I wanted to have a YouTube channel, share my compassion and my love for guinea pigs with those in the same community. I would watch so many people on YouTube that were doing the same thing that I'm doing today. And I only dreamed of being that exact person. And the fact that I am literally that, uh, plus more with having a full-time business with guinea pigs is just kind of crazy. I never imagined in a million years that this would be where I am today. So everything kind of just came full circle and really worked out. Literally like the animal that I love most is my job. And it, it just, it's insane. When I started this all, I was going into this with just wanting to make YouTube content and just really share my love for guinea pigs and just do really fun, exciting videos for you guys. And honestly, quickly I started to build an audience and I was like, oh my God, this is like insane. I always knew there was a community out there for guinea pigs, but honestly, I never knew just how big it was and just how crazy us guinea pig owners can be. Like we're so devoted to these animals and it's just really nice to have found a community that are just like me like I love my pigs to death I love to spoil them they honestly come before me like 99% of the time like I'd rather buy my pigs their own stuff and to spoil them than my own self with like clothes and you know materialistic things honestly it probably just comes down to like seeing how rewarding it is for them, like having enriching lives, being so active, just really enjoying the space that I have created for them and the home that I have built for them. Pretty much the reason why I love to spoil them, so it kind of makes sense. But um, yeah, uh, quickly the pig room gained a lot of traction. Um, audience, supporters, subscribers, followers, um, and also customers. This turned and is now my full-time job. It is a business. And in the last year, this business has grown so immensely big, I cannot even put into words, like to the point where I'm getting a little bit over my head with like work. Um, I do have an assistant, one of my good friends, Andy, he does help me out with practically everything that's ever involved in the pig room. And the business has now become even too much for us two to handle. So really because of this, I had to think of ways for me to create more time to show up in my business. I do launch days and literally because of you guys, the product sells out in less than an hour, usually even like in 10 minutes um, for my handmade stuff. And I can't keep up with the demand and I, it's such a good problem to have. I really do appreciate it, but I really would love to get to the point where I can keep up with the demand. What I was once able to manage when I first got this many guinea pigs, um, when my business was at the very start, when I was on Etsy getting like five orders on launch days, this was very easy for me to manage a hundred percent because I had so much time to come up here and tend to their needs and feed them and just clean and do everything that is ever involved with taking care of guinea pigs, um, but times 19. Now with the business getting super crazy, super hectic, I am constantly working with different manufacturers and talking with them and developing products, working on handmade stuff, designing designs and graphics and just all kinds of things that is involved um, you know, with this business now. I now have my life consumed with it. Um, a lot of my time is taken up with the pig room work aspect, not so much the pigs. And I've really fallen into a trap because I no longer find myself coming into the pig room to hang out with my pigs and just be with them. Um, I find myself sometimes slacking on their cleanings and water bottle cleanings and cleaning their pellet dishes, uh, doing health checks, giving baths for like Ollie, let's say, uh, nail trimmings, all the things that I should be doing and used to be able to do and was you know, having an easy time with it. I no longer am um, and it's starting to become a chore, I guess you could say, I feel more pressured in here. I feel like I can no longer devote my time to my pigs as much as I would like. And I feel like I'm really sp spreading my love thin, um, if that's one way to put it. I feel like I can no longer show up for them in the way that I want to or once did. And that really hurts me because my pigs mean the absolute world to me and vice versa. You know, I mean the world to them. And I do want to be that person that can show up for each and every single one of them 110% of the way. It's unfortunate that I can't and I've had to think of ways that I can. And this hasn't been an easy decision um, and it probably will never be for me because I love each and every single one of my pigs dearly. But I have decided to rehome Toby and Ashton 
who are my boys that you guys don't see typically that often, but Toby is actually in this cage right behind me, and then Ashton is right here. So as of right now, I am in contact with two owners who are both interested in, you know, both Toby and Ashton. I will actually be meeting with the next owner of Ashton on Saturday, which is in, that is in two days from now. So I did want to make this video and get it out there for you guys in case, you know, you guys are confused with having less piggies here in the pig room. But she reached out to me on Instagram after I had made a post saying I was rehoming some of my piggies and she sent me her care, we talked, and he's going to go off to an amazing home. I know that my boys are okay with the situation that they're in. You know, they do have neighbors, all of them, but I would love for my piggies to all have actual cage mates where they can interact with them and popcorn and do all their, their piggy things. Because seeing how amazing Winston has been with his girlfriends and Vision has been with his, like they're just so, they're so happy, they're so healthy, they just have a spark to them, which I don't really find is existent in my boys who live alone. And I really want that for my single boys. So he is actually going to be neutered um, from the next owner and be living with, I think it was four, four girls. Uh, so he's going to have a bunch of girlfriends and live in an awesome, amazing cage. That was really what I needed. That was a non-negotiable for me. If I'm going to be rehoming my piggies, they need to be going off to an amazing home. If they were gonna continue to live alone, who ordered? <laughs> See, this is what I mean, guys. You guys are ordering nonstop. Um, thank you, Mary, for the order. I appreciate that. The non-negotiable was that they were going to go somewhere amazing. Again, living side by side to some males or being neutered and living with females. And just seeing how amazing that dynamic is with having a neutered male with a bunch of females, I really wanted that for my single boys. And the fact that it's happening um, to 100% Ashton makes me feel so amazing. Now for Toby's case, I am still kind of on the fence with the owner um, because I don't know if it's actually going to happen. Uh, we, I will know closer to the end of this month, uh, but she is going to be driving like close to six, ish hours to me which is kind of crazy um but we will see and i will let you guys know if toby actually goes off to his new his new home and stuff but he will have the same scenario where he will be neutered and live with girlfriends so it makes me feel so much better about the situation because i never thought again in a million years that i would have to rehome any of my pigs and it has been truly a really tough mental decision for me but it has made it so much easier for me to process this and be going through this knowing that my pigs are going to live like a much better life with some new owners um, and I say that because you know I, I do everything for my babies like they have clean cages they got amazing food they get their their veggies every single night they go to the vet if they're sick like I'm doing everything possible but I can't provide them with with friends and a new owner being able to offer that to them makes you feel amazing so yeah guys um, I hope you guys respond to this news well. It's really important for me on this channel to be open and honest with you guys and never lie or be shady or hide anything. I want you guys to know that this is sometime a part of owning any animals for that case. Rehoming is a situation that a lot of people find themselves in and I really just wanted to voice my own experience with it and what I'm kind of going through in the thought process that I've been having and let you guys know that it's never a bad thing um, as long as you are giving your, your animals to a new home that's going to take amazing care of them equally as good as you already do. It's a great thing to do. So do not feel bad or guilty about it. You really are looking after your pet and I feel like I'm doing that now. In the beginning, it wasn't that feeling, but now listening to your guys' stories and hearing from you personally, I definitely feel that way. So thank you guys so much for responding to me and reaching out to me about the situation that you guys have gone through. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and actually do some spot cleanings because the piggies are looking a little bit dirty. So let's begin. Something I actually forgot to mention to you guys when I was talking was that I've been feeling really down on myself because I haven't been as present on YouTube as I would like. YouTube for me is such an amazing platform because I feel inspired honestly every single day to get in the pig room and record videos and show off my knowledge of them, share it to you guys, show off how I do things, take care of my pigs, all kinds of video ideas I have in my head and I haven't been able to create them because again I've been so consumed and busy with work. Now I don't want you guys to get that twisted because seriously <laughs> And I mean this seriously, like I cannot thank you guys enough. Doing what I do at my job is the most fun thing ever. I would not trade it in for the world. So because of you, 
true, I am able to do my job and also love it at the same time. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all the support that you guys give me on every single launch day, liking my posts, commenting, interacting, everything that you guys do for me, it seriously means so much. So again, by rehoming two of my pigs, which, you know, isn't much because I still have a crazy number, which is 17, but not having those two cages and those two pigs to tend to will really help me out to create more YouTube content. Because again, I've been missing just creating for you guys and showing off the pigs, doing fun videos. So I'm super excited to get back at it. I really, really am. But all of the piggies are doing amazing. Here is Winston and his herd. Now, I did mention this in a previous video, but Winston and Caroline are not getting along the best. It's still kind of continuing. It's just a little bit more chasing. I'm not sure if they actually do it in these clips, but um, yeah, it's not fun, at least for Caroline's part, because she is being picked on and she's an old gal. She is over seven years old and I don't want her to live out the rest of her life being super stressed. So there are some things that I am trying to figure out in regards to her situation and what I wanna do there. Uh, for the time being right now, you know, she is fine. She just doesn't really get along with Winston all that much. And she does try to stay away from him as much as possible, even if he makes eye contact with her. She's like, nope, I am leaving, I'm out of here. Or she'll just bury herself in her hay pile and just hope that they don't come across each other. And also, Ariel and Fifi are in the pig room. I am so happy to have them in here. I feel like they're a lot more lively. I feel like they're a lot more squeaky and talkative, I guess you could say. Um, they're really enjoying it. I love having them in here, not having to lug the huge shop vacuum downstairs and do their spot cleanings and full cage cleanings makes my life so much easier. Um, so I'm really happy to have them here. And also I have some really amazing news, which I won't share just yet. I might in my next video, but they are actually going to be bonded with one of my piggies. They're obviously a male and they're gonna be neutered. So if you guys want to leave your comments and guesses down below, I'm really curious to know if you get it right. Uh, but yeah, they're gonna be living with one of my single males, which means one of my single males will have some girlfriends. So I'm very excited for him. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos every single week. And until then, I hope you and your piggies are happy, safe, and healthy. Bye, guys.